Hello everyone. It really has been amazing that young people like you in these challenging times have reached out in a safe and meaningful way to care in your community. And this is your graduation. And we would like to say thank you. And a number of people have joined me in saying a special thank you and congratulations. They are DCU President Dara Kyo, Dublin Senior Football Manager Desi Farrell, CEO of the Matter Hospital Alan Sharp, and Minister Pascal Dunu, along with principals and teachers. This is your day and your graduation, so enjoy the presentation. I welcome to everybody to DCU for this virtual graduation. Uh, I'm sorry that you're not here, but would love to celebrate with 600 volunteers who've made a difference this year to so many people. You can never say too much about the value of volunteering. Uh, it changes the world around us, particularly in difficult times like this. It improves people's lives, but it also improves yourselves. Uh, through volunteering, we all grow and become better as a result. Uh, President Obama said that when we come out of this, we can't go back to the old norm, but we should build a world as it should be, as it could be. Localised volunteers are building that better world, and we look forward to the brighter days ahead. I would like to congratulate the 600 youth volunteers who are working with Localised all over the country, uh, special people and tremendous work done. Thank you. Volunteering is so important, it gives us a sense of belonging, a sense of purpose, but it supports and serves people all over the country, so thank you for the work you've done. Hello everybody, this is Geraldine Gowan here, I'm the Principal of Holy Family Senior National School in River Valley and I'm just sending our best wishes and congratulations to our young people from 6th class. So, um, I want to say well done to all of the boys and girls in these classes. Um, they did a fantastic job. Um, we normally do a food uh, appeal for St Vincent de Paul. We weren't able to do that this year, so they came up with a great idea and that was to hold a Funky Friday. They did an absolutely fantastic job and raised over €6,000 for our local uh, conference of St Vincent de Paul. So this was our localised project this year and we're really, really proud of all our young people. So what I want to do now is just to wish all of our young people in sixth class um, our best wishes as they finish up in Holy Family and they move on to secondary school and I just want to say congratulations on their great achievement and well done to Localise and we hope that Localise will go from strength to strength over the coming years. Hi guys, just a little message to say well done on your localised graduation. You all did so, so well and I am so proud of each and every one of you. And I think that you should give yourself a pat on the back and really enjoy this graduation. And you should put your cert somewhere in your house just to remind you of how important the local community is to you guys. and that you always remember the amazing work we did in sixth class in Holy Family. Um, well done. Hello everyone from the Localised team. This is Miss Gallagher's class here. We are so delighted that we could take part in the Localised project last term. And we are so happy that we were able to give back to the midwives of the Rotunda Hospital and as well to the residents of St. Clair's Nursing Home. So now I would like to take a minute just to say a huge congratulations to my wonderful class for doing such a great job in participating in the Localised project. So congratulations girls, you should be so proud of yourself. Thank you so much again for everything and we hope to see you soon. Hi, this is Miss Chiefsby in 6th class in St Columbus School. I'd like to thank my girls for the hard work they put into their Localised project for St Clair's and the Rotunda Hospital before Christmas. Well done girls. Well done to the six staff girls of St Catharines who completed not one but two projects for Localised this year. I am sure your paintings bring joy every day to the residents of the Neffin Road nursing home and I know your care packages lifted the spirits of the staff in the Matter Hospital at Christmas time. Volunteering is all about using your time and talents to enrich your life and the life of others. So well done and congratulations.
Hi, I'm Sarah Shea from St. Columbus Gill. I really enjoyed making framed artworks and cards for St. Clair's Nursing Home. And they'll just get so much pleasure to think that the students are doing all of this for them. And no better or more appreciative audience than the residents here. Hi, I'm Elizabeth from St. Columbus School. I really enjoyed putting together gift bags and care packages for the midwifery team and new mums in Rotunda. Sixth class really benefited from this project. Hi, I'm Quiva and I'm Ms. Bath. It was really fun to take part in their lives this year, even if it wasn't in person due to COVID. Pushing our local community was really lovely. And filling all the goodie bags for the Rotunda midwives. Even if we weren't able to be there in person, we were still able to see the Rotunda nurses open their goodie bags on Zoom. It was, it was really nice to see all their lovely faces. This year I think they'll even have a bigger impact because it's been such a difficult year. So to be able to provide such lovely treats for our staff and the community, and also we have packages for our mums and babies as well, I think it's going to have a huge impact and be really what Christmas is all about. So on behalf of the Return to Hospital, on behalf of the community midwives, on behalf of myself, thank you all so very much. I'm really looking forward to the concert. We're really happy to take part in London. We had a really great experience and we would love to take part in it again. We realised how many people were struggling at this time, especially in River Valley. We did a fundraiser, which was Funky Friday, and we could dress up in our own clothes and we did lots of games. We raised 6,000 euro. We hope to take part in it again and have another lovely experience. Absolutely amazing. I, I felt shocked when I did that. I, we were only expecting to get like 1,000, and whenever we got 6,000, I was absolutely shocked. I was so happy. Oh, this is the... Uh... This is a lifesaver. This is an absolute lifesaver. It will go a long, long way and it will be spent very wisely. Hi, I'm Ruby and I'm in sixth class. We did paintings of the Haypenny Bridge for the local nursing home to brighten the walls up. And we did care packages for the nurses in the Matter Hospital. It was like a thank you gift for working on Christmas. I really enjoyed doing stuff for others and yeah, it was very fun. Yeah, it's great to know that our community is here supporting us. Um, during COVID, it's been really hard. We've been working mad hours, but when we receive letters from children and um, from schools, it really makes us thankful and know that like our community is actually standing with us. Hi, my name is Kate, and I'm in sixth class in St. Catherine Senior Real School. I enjoy working my local lives because we done paintings up Dublin for the Nettle Nursing Home. They really enjoyed looking at the paintings. Then at Christmas time we made hampers for the patients and nurses in the Matter Hospital and we put cards, chocolates and stuff in it. I would really recommend doing this for other classes and um, we really enjoyed it doing for our class. Thank you. Hi, my name is Tara and I was an adult leader with Localize this year. I got the opportunity to engage with two of the major projects. The first one was for Fairview Matter Hospital Step Down Unit where we created 160 care packages for the patients and staff there and also a winter wonderland room where we made lots of handmade decorations for Christmas. The second project was for St. Clair's Nursing Home where we created an activity book with lots of different puzzles and also a video of reeling in the years for the residents to enjoy. Hi, I want to thank the DCU students and the localised volunteers for the beautiful care packages for our staff and our patients here in post-acute care and thank you to the guys who are decorating and making a beautiful winter wonderland. So DCU students and the localised volunteers, thank you so much. Hey there. My name is Stephen uh, and I am with River Valley Localised. So first in Overcare, um, they are an sort of like a residence home for the elderly. Um, normally we'd like to go in and do games and other little um, community kind of things with them, but sadly we couldn't do that this year, or well, last term I should say with COVID, but thankfully we still got to connect with them. Um, we got to send in cards and we got really good videos back of the staff and residents who got to receive them, and it really just brightens your day when you get to see that that kind of hard work we do does really benefit people. 
The second project we did was with the SVP, the SVP of the St. Vincent de Paul Foundation. And we decided to send in activity books and other little things that a pe person in a home um, that may need to reach out to the SVP um, would really enjoy. It'll be, it'll be our pleasure to uh, distribute those on, on your behalf to, to the needy people. And uh, when I say needy, uh, a lot of the need in our uh, in our area is also uh, loneliness and uh, so a little contact like that means an awful lot to people. The fact that you can help someone in need always gives you that little bit of a kick that you're helping someone who really needs it and it just, there's a feeling like, there's a feeling you can't describe from helping people purely because you want to help your community and that is one of the reasons why I think that young people who volunteer are hugely important. When you see the work that young people can come together and do, especially under supervision of Localize, it's incredible. Like It will take your breath away the amount that people can do when they come together because as a young person growing up I love doing Localize, it gives you a sense of good, it gives you a place to go and just plan to help people, it's an amazing thing. And the biggest reason it's important is because you get to give back to the community that's bringing you up. I think it's a really nice feeling to do as a small sort of um, thank you for just having a community to be there, to be involved in and to be a part of. I'm delighted to be joining Minister Pascal Donoghue, Minister for Finance, and Dara Kyo, President of DCU, on the graduation ceremony for localised volunteers. The principle of volunteering has always been at the heart of the Matter Hospital's history. The Manor Hospital was, I believe, the first hospital to be honoured by you, the localised volunteers, and the projects you have carried out have been inspiring for our patients and our staff. To date, our emergency department, ICU, HDU, theatres, psychiatry, services for the elderly persons, dialysis department have all benefited from your thoughtful support of initiatives. It has been quite a year as we continue to work on the front lines, dealing with the many challenges we face during this pandemic. The impact of the localised projects cannot be underestimated. So we are delighted to continue our links with localised and look forward to the many more engagements in the future. Finally, I wish to congratulate you all on your graduation today and thank you most sincerely on behalf of our patients and staff for all you do for us. You have raised our spirits during what has been a challenging time for all of us who are working here at the Matter Hospital. Enjoy your day. Thank you. A quick message for me uh, just to thank everybody who's been involved in the Localised Youth Programme. Uh, I know what a great programme it is. Over many years I've had the opportunity to see at first hand the impact that it has made on all the young people who've been on the programme and how valuable it has been as part of their educational experience. Of course, I know it's been far more difficult to do this work over the last year and I just want to recognise the extraordinary work that Derek and all of his team do. But even though his work and the work of his team has been more difficult, I know that those who have been benefiting from all of their work, I'm sure, have appreciated it even more. So big shout out to all involved in running the programme and I also want to recognise the new online resource that I understand the localised team have put together to support those who are on and running the programme. So thanks to Derek, thanks to all on the team and just good luck to everybody who's on the programme and who will be coming on to the programme in the year to come. Thank you.